This is not the situation that Belize alone finds itself in. Um, we have one of the highest energy prices in the world, and so do the countries in Central, uh, Central America and the Caribbean. This obviously has many effects that, that ripples through our economy and constrains our economic growth. It's one of the major contributors to our high debt to GDP ratio, which is about 85%. Um, and we all know the effects of the global volatility of oil price and, and the effects that that has at home. And of course, uh, climate change, even though that we are very small emitters of greenhouse gases uh, globally, the use of fossil fuels is the single largest cause of global warming. This situation exacerbates um, uh, poverty, and as I said, constrains our economic growth here at home. And just to, these are the graphs that, to reiterate what the minister, minister said earlier, notice that our energy profile in the graph on the left, 65% uh, of all of our energy is from fossil fuels. We import 88% of that 65% to meet our needs. And therein lies our dependence on fossil fuels. If you look on the graph on the right, you see where the energy is used. On this graph, here you notice that transport is the largest single user of energy. And we're using primarily diesel and gasoline uh, to supply that, that industry. What this says to us as a ministry is that if we want to wean ourselves off fossil fuels, then we have to look at renewable energy options to provide biofuels to decrease our dependency on fossil fuels uh, there. Okay? We also notice that residential and industrial sources of energy are also large uses. And as a result, the strategies I'll discuss with you today will all actually present goals and objectives that will allow us to wean our dependence off fossil fuels in these sectors as well.